In today's video, I'll show you how I created this 3D printed duck with text on the bottom. Okay, we are on the Tinkercad.com website and we are going to create a 3D design. Okay, we're going to want to put some text on the bottom of a duck. And so we're going to have three lines of text. So under the basic shapes, I am dragging the text out three times. Then I'm going to click on the top one and put my top line of text. And I'm going to change the font to sans. And I'm going to do the rest, the same thing with the rest of the lines. Okay, now I'm going to select them all, and we are going to align them. Now if you hover over these buttons, it's going to show you what clicking on that button is going to do. And uh, we want to center justify, so we are going to click on this one right here. And let's look at the top view. And I'm going to change my view to a flat view. You can toggle between flat view and perspective view by clicking on this. And I just like to use the flat view. Now for the line spacing, I'm just going to use my up and down arrow keys. And I am going to move the top and the bottom line so it's about the way I want it to be. And I'm going to select everything and I'm going to group it. And I'm going to make this text a whole shape. Now I'm going to want to change this text so that it's standing up. So that it will be standing up from the work plane. So in order to do that, you have to know what direction you need to be looking at. These little rotation arrows, you see if we do this one, all it does is rotate it like that. I don't want that. I want it to rotate towards me so that it's standing on end. So I am going to look at the left hand side and we'll try rotating this 90 degrees. And that almost did it, but it needs to be an additional 180 degrees. And we also want to now flip it around because we're looking at the back side of it. So we need to look at the side of it. So we'll just do it from the right, and let's see, is this what we want? No, that is not what we want. I think we probably are going to need to look at it from the top, and then we can just rotate it this way 180 degrees. Okay, and so now when we look Add it from the front. It's facing the direction that we want it to be. Now it is sitting halfway between the plane here. So I'm going to select it again and this little uh, triangle up here. I'm going to click and drag that up until we're level with the bed. And this number right here is showing zero. And since I can't click and drag it to size it, let's just maybe uh, do this half the size that it is. So let's do 45. And then we can click and drag the top down to make it more even. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is import our duck. So we are going to 
bring in this particular doc and import it. Okay, now we have our duck in, and we're going to want to rotate it so that its bottom is facing towards the text. So if we look at the top and click on the duck and move it away from the text, we're going to want to have the bottom of the duck facing that text. So the first thing we want to do is we want to rotate the duck 90 degrees this way. And then let's look at the front of the duck here. And I'm going to make this smaller. And then we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then we'll use the little triangle here to position it down to zero. And so now, when we look at it, we can select our text, use the triangle to lift it up, and then use our arrow keys to kind of center it. Now, if we look at it from the side, like the right-hand side, what we're going to want to do is have this text as a deboss on the bottom of the duck. And so this particular text, I'm going to change the height of it to 10. 10 millimeters. Then I'll use my cursor control keys to the arrow keys to move it over. And I'm going to click on this so that we can maximize that. Then I'll zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to move that text about halfway in. So that's going to be about five millimeters in. And so we've got our text on the bottom. Now I'm going to select everything. And because our text was configured as a whole shape, when I group them together, it's going to punch out the bottom and make a deboss on the bottom of the text. And so now we're ready to import this into Cura and print it out on our 3D printer. So the first thing we've got to do is we're going to want to flip it back down so that the bottom is flat with the plane of the bed. So let's look on the left-hand side, and we're going to rotate this back 90 degrees. And that's the wrong way. So we're going to do it this way, 180 degrees. We'll do our little triangle again until we're at the zero level, this number right here. And we can kind of center it on the bed. So if we look at it from the top, OK, we're ready to go. So we're going to export as an STL file. And I'm just going to call this October Duck. It's already there, but I'm just going to overwrite it. And now we're going to import that STL file into Cura. And we are now in the Ultimaker Cura program. And we are going to open the October Duck STL file we just created in the last step. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to scale it to be about 50% in size. I'm going to make sure uniform scaling is checked. Because I don't need it to be quite as big as it is. Now, it's also going to want to put supports down here at the bottom, which I don't want. That's going to be a waste of filament. I only want the supports for the beak. So I am going to use support blocker. And then just click around.
and then we can slice and preview and there's one little spot here I missed but for the most part the only place with the supports is the beak so now we can save it to the disk and uh, put it on the printer and print this out my duck is done I'm going to remove it and there you see on the bottom the date Now we are using a special profile that a friend of mine provided. And I will show you each of the different steps. Make sure that all selections are shown. And so this is the quality. If you want to view any of these sections for any longer, just pause the video. But this is quality. walls top bottom Fill material. Travel. Support. 